Hi, this is Deborah Wayne, founder of the Biofield Healing Institute, and I wanted to share some things with you today about the importance of a daily practice. What do I mean by that? Well, lots of times people write me or call or email and, and they ask me, what do you do every day, Deborah, to keep your energy high and keep on a high vibration? And so I wanted to share some tips with you as to what I've done, which has changed over the years. But I do find that, like anything else, if there's consistency, a daily practice, you can much more easily maintain a more even, calm, centered place inside yourself. And so I've done different things over the years, but my two main go-to methods, practices that have really, really worked for me, and again, this is for me, are yoga and meditation. Now, this is not for everybody, and I don't claim that it should be. Now, for me, I've been meditating since I was 15 years old. I knew the minute I heard the word meditation, and at 15, I had no idea what that even meant. But I knew the minute I heard the word that I have to do this. I have to do this. In fact, I went to my father because it cost money at that time to go to the TM center and become initiated and learn how to do it. My father said, absolutely no. It's a cult. You can't do it. And I was so bound and determined to learn to meditate that I got a job and I raised the money and I went and learned how to meditate. And you know what? I don't regret it. And it has really changed my life. Now, meditation is different for all different kinds of people. There isn't just one way that I recommend. But having quiet time every day, whether you have a formal meditation practice or not, I do feel is essential because we live in this crazy busy world and we're all typing away and texting away and you know, it's just getting insane more and more all the time. And we're getting disconnected. We're all connected, right? But we're getting disconnected. So the more that we can take quiet time to be silent, unplugged from technology, from outer technology, we can start to tap into what I call inner technology. And it's there. It's there for you, me, and everyone, whether you realize it or not. But we can most easily hear and get to our inner peace by being alone and quiet, even if it's just for a few minutes a day. You can begin to hear what's going on inside you, your own answers. It calms your nervous system. The feelings release that have been building up from tension and stress. So number one, getting quiet, being still, and listening inside yourself for your own answers. The second thing that has helped me so much is a yoga practice. It's really the moving of the body. I learned a long, 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 long time ago that my body, mine, again, this is me, my body has to move. I have to have movement in order to feel comfortable in my body. I do believe the body is designed for movement. And again, we live in this world that's becoming more and more and more and more sedentary. Sitting down all day at a computer, hunched over, heart collapsed, shoulders dropped. I mean, it's painful. <laughs> So to be able to stretch and open up and feel the circulation moving, get the lymph system going, it affects the body, the mind, and your spirit. And I just adore every day, even if I can't make it to a yoga class, I take time every day, literally the minute I get up, to stretch out and move my body. Yoga is not for everyone. But whatever you find, it could be a gentle walk. It could be qigong or tai chi or running or whatever form of exercise, but something to get your body moving will get anything that's stagnant 
inside you moving also. I mean, think about it. A body of water, and our body is made of, the majority of, is made of water. A body of water becomes stagnant and diseased when it's not moving, when there's no circulation. So think about that one. Being in nature is also a very big deal for me. Sitting quietly or taking a walk, being around the trees in particular, oh my goodness, I adore trees. They speak to me, I feel their energy, they make me happy just seeing them. So if I can't get out into nature, I make sure I look out a big beautiful window and that I see nature every single day. I'm very blessed, I live near the sea. The ocean, I can see it every day, and it gives me a feeling of expansiveness, of unlimitedness. It reminds me of the fact that I am part of nature, you are part of nature. So we need to connect more and actually remember that and experience that. There's many, many daily practices, and you really have to find what works for you. Now, I like variety. Some people need, have a huge need for a lot of variety and change, and other people do better with regular, consistent, same practice day in and day out, and there's value to both. Yoga and meditation, for me, consistent. But in addition to that, I love to dance. I love to go dancing, all different types of music. Sometimes I'll just turn on the music and dance in my kitchen or living room, and literally, my mood changes like that. So dancing has been a big one throughout my life. But it can also be something quiet like journaling. I have found the value of keeping a feelings journal over the years. I don't do it regularly. But if I sit down and I listen inside and I start to write how I'm feeling and what's going on inside of me and write down my con conflicting thoughts, my things inside that are unresolved, wow, I start to get a sense of my own answers, my own guidance, just the relief by owning it, acknowledging what's going on inside of me and getting it out of me and onto paper, it's huge. So I encourage you to try that. So many things, but it could be gardening. It could be time away. I just took a few days recently and went away out of my normal natural surroundings and I went on a silent retreat. No cell phones, no phone conversations, no emails, not even text messaging. And I got quiet and listened to the sounds around me. So I could hear myself think. It was profound. I always come back feeling happier and more clear on where I'm at and what's next in my life. Art has been a huge contributor to my happiness and joy and peace and sanity in my life. If you've never played with crayons, I encourage you to go out and buy some today and sit down and scribble. You don't have to be a famous artist to find the value of art. Dipping a brush in paint and just experimenting with what happens when you color and put color to paper, it will blow your mind. You'll start to feel, hear, sense, turn on dormant awareness that you're not even aware that you have. Your senses will come alive. It's not about having a goal in mind. All these practices are designed to help you be more aware. Not do more, not accomplish more, not achieve success, not accomplish another goal or check something off the to-do list. These are practices of awareness. Pure, simple awareness. My biofield healing immersion method, that's what it's all about. That's what's been profoundly changing thousands of people's lives all around the world, is learning how to become 
fully present, aware, observing the thoughts and the emotions, even observing pain. It sounds counterintuitive, it is, but we are an observer and the awareness is the key. So if you'd like more of my help and you'd like to get started with this, click the link below and check out my book. My, I'm gifting you a, a copy, a free copy of my best-selling ebook called Why Do I Still Hurt? Rapid Relief for Chronic Pain, Depression, Anxiety, and More. Now, even if you're not in pain of some kind, you will benefit from this book because it will help you become more aware, aware of the deeper, hidden, inner technology that exists inside you and me and everyone else. And it will expand your consciousness. It will raise your vibration. It will help you to become more aware instead of identified with your pain, your symptoms, your issues, your problems, your patterns. So check it out, click the link below, and if I can help you further, please reach out. I would love to take you by the hand and help you learn to be joyful, living a pain-free life. Thanks for being here today. Much love to you. Bye for now.